so basically uh, i am into travel and tourism okay so i just wanted to i just had few ideas like how to go about but uh, what do you think uh, digital is like required for uh, travel and tourism how do you think because right now the market is completely shaken See, i mean uh, digitally uh, how can i improvise the thing is uh, digitally how to improvise the question is uh, there is certain mindset that you can't improvise and that mindset okay. is about uh, the fear that people have cultivated with respect to travel main yahan se pondicherry i can't even travel to pondicherry from chennai even in a medical emergency that i have of someone there uh, so travel for okay. tourism is the not so very easy thoughtful process at the moment right okay. because the thing is uh, there are certain reasons to it people want to save up money for the future especially for this yes. year uh second is uh, they fear that if they travel they don't know if everything is safe or not safe the only thing that can safeguard travel business right now is some crazy offers unbelievable offers that people can okay. block you know uh which basically means that jo offer humne life mein nahi suna hai like going to singapore would have costed 50000 rupees per person but when the offers is like 30000 people wouldn't mind booking it up so i think when the when the boom starts again the industries and the travel companies bringing up the offer and the hotels giving crazy offers will revive this because people who have money will park these money into these hotels and the travel industry they might not want to travel now but might want to travel for the future Later. so the fact right now that every travel business should do is they should basically be creating their entire content strategy and uh, okay. connect with enough travel influencers talk about travel journeys of the past talk about the places on their social media channels talk about places okay. to visit unexplored places to visit it should just be pure content strategy at this point of time for them because otherwise there's no travel opportunities that you generally see so that's something that i want to say Oh, uh, so basically, according to you, right now, educating people is what we, is very important. Absolutely. Like rather than pushing, pushing yeah. them for you know traveling. See, the, the the question is, how can we push people to travel right now? Like the question. Is, right now, would, no. Would you down the line for around yeah. around six, five to six months. After five to six months, nothing around in one or two months. Probably down the line, six to eight months. The six to eight months, uh, unless or until we don't have the assurance that uh, that Corona. Yeah, there's a vaccine. There's a vaccine. Uh, people, I don't yeah. think would want to risk anything, and anything that travel industry has to offer has to be hundred percent refunding uh, opportunity. Okay. Which means I can invest, but if there's a guarantee that mm. if something goes wrong and you're gonna give me hundred percent refund. then i am more likely to take make my investments there so i think travel is going to be travel restaurants these business are going to be hardly hit restaurants still okay because they will run regardless of what uh, people will still be taking takeaways but travel is risking lives so people might not want to do people are not traveling from why from home to office so yeah. how would they, how would you expect them to travel to a different country or a different state to for uh, less not not for Right, so leisure is not very important at the moment for people because they're finding immense pleasure in staying at home. <laughs>